Hey y'all, hey. So today we're making some chili Colorado. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. And so I am starting with one yellow onion. And so for half of it, I am going to slice it because I'm going to cook the beef with the, the sliced onions. And then the other half, I am just going to roughly chop it because I'm going to add this to our chili sauce. And so chili Colorado is basically a Mexican stew. And um, I just picked up some uh, beef stew meat from the store. So that's the beef that I'm going to use. And so next I am going to chop, roughly chop six garlic cloves. And so these are also going to go into our chili sauce. And it's going to be a red chili sauce that um, I'm going to make it with some dried chilies that I have in my cabinet. Because I told you I, I have tons of chilies that I bought a while back. And I'm just trying to find recipes to use um, so I can use the chilies. And so right now I'm just prepping all of the ingredients that I will need for the chili sauce when I blend it up. And so I am using eight uh Wahio chilies and I forgot to add um, some ancho chilies and uh, you can I believe you can also use pasilla chilies but I'm going to use eight of these and if you want to add um, the ancho chilies you can use um, two of those or if you want like a spicier chili um, use whatever you, you know to your spice level but you know I am going to have my kids eat some of this so I didn't want to make it too spicy. And so after I took the seeds out of those chilies, I just uh, put them on the stove, uh, boiled the water and let them, uh, you know, let them hang out for about 30 minutes or so, just so the chilies could get soft. And so next I am actually chopping up some serrano peppers and you know, this, this is not even going in the, the, uh, the beefs. So I don't even know why this, but it's just in here, but I'm actually prepping this for um, cause I'm also going to make some refried beans and some homemade Mexican rice. And so this is going to go into one of those, but again, I was just prepping all of the ingredients that I was going to need for my Mexican feast. And so now I am just going to season up that beef stew meat. And so I am using some, some nature seasoning, which is an all purpose seasoning that has salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And I'm trying to keep it pretty simple because I want... I don't want to take away from the flavor of the chili sauce and so you do want to make sure that you season your food to your taste make sure your food is not bland because we don't want no bland food y'all so i'm just massaging this seasoning into the beef and next i am just going to uh, brown the beef so i am using avocado oil and i'm using my dutch oven and i'm just going to brown the beef on all sides and i'm going to do it in batches because you don't want your beef to steam you want a nice color on your beef and I just want to take this time to say thank you to you guys for subscribing to my channel I really appreciate all of the support and if you're new here welcome make sure you subscribe and like the video leave me a comment and so these are the chilies that I had um, seeping on the on the stove for about 30 minutes and so I um, now I'm gonna blend this up for the sauce and so I'm gonna add those softened chilies to my food processor along with um, the garlic the onion I'm gonna add some seasoning so um, I'm gonna add in some cumin some salt pepper nature seasoning whatever all-purpose seasoning that you have again we don't want no bland food over here I, I promise you you don't want no bland food okay so you're gonna season this up you're gonna blend all of these ingredients together until it is nice and um as smooth as you can get it because you're still gonna have to strain it and so I did forget to add in my Mexican oregano so you are gonna see me um add this after I had already blended it it up but it is what it is and so I added my Mexican oregano and now this is my chili sauce that I am going to put through a, a mesh strainer um, and then you're gonna add this to your cooked beef and y'all oh my goodness this food is so delicious again I've never made this before I have had it at restaurants 
in the past and it was it was really delicious um but i try to be you know try to give y'all some new recipes to try like youtube really allows me to try out new things like i wouldn't have never made this on my own and so if it hadn't been for that birria i wouldn't have bought the chili so your girl got you okay and so i am just straining this through the mess uh strainer until i get all of that delicious um red chili sauce and then i'm gonna add in some beef broth to this um i think i added about maybe three cups of beef broth and then you're gonna simmer this beef on the stove i think i let mine simmer for about an hour and here are those sliced onions that i cut up earlier in the video and then i'm going to add in the beef broth and you're just going to let this simmer until your beef is nice and tender again i think i let mine simmer for about an hour or so and it's going to be amazing y'all like i promise you please subscribe to my channel i i do so many different types of recipes i give you mexican food indian food i make vegetarian vegan soul food you're not gonna get that nowhere else y'all so make sure you subscribe to my channel and I thought I used beef broth, but I think I actually used chicken. I had some chicken bouillon that I added to some hot water. And then I'm just going to cover that up so it can simmer. And so this did create quite a bit of fat. And so I'm just going to skim the fat off the top of it. Because I don't want all that grease in my food, y'all. I, I, I don't want no grease, all that grease in my food. And you're not going to be able to get all of it. But it was quite a bit on here. So... Um, that's just what I'm doing and then I'm gonna add a cornstarch slurry just to thicken up the liquid and then I'm gonna let that hang out while I cook the other stuff and you can leave the top off and let it continue to simmer um, just so that the sauce can thicken up and so make sure you taste your food because we don't want no bland food y'all so I tasted it and it needed some more seasoning so I added in some more ground cumin and um, some nature seasoning. I think I even added a little bit of adobo seasoning. And I'm just gonna stir that up, taste as you go. Let this simmer and let your sauce thicken up to your uh, to your preference. And again, I'm just gonna let that hang out. I did add some more cornstarch slurry because you know it just wasn't thickening up for me. And so this is the plate, and I'm just putting this queso fresco on top of my homemade refried beans that I made from scratch. And so I just garnished the dish with some uh, sliced radishes and some fresh cilantro. And this is it, y'all. This is the chili Colorado, which is that beef, which was nice and tender. Some homemade Mexican rice and some homemade refried beans served with some corn tortillas. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.